1964 proof Kennedy half dollar. Highly elusive accented hair variety. The cherry picker's reference states, the accented hair variety is identifiable by the enhanced hairlines in the central area of the hair, just below the part. However, the easiest way to identify the variety is the weak or broken lower left serif of the eye, in Liberty. This variety comprises a minority of the proof 1964 Kennedy half-dollar population, although it is not universally scarce, as many examples are certified. The rarest examples are those in the deep cameo category, and these coins are conditionally rare and high-grade. The present coin is in near-perfect condition and is tied for finest known. It was sold for $46,800 on January 11, 2024. 1976 S. Silver Bicentennial Washington Quarter. Graded in Mint State 69 by NGC. A rare find for a registry set, this 25-cent piece boasts tack sharp strike, lustrous silver-gray surfaces that are free from any large distraction. According to Jamie Hernandez, the 1976 S. Washington Silver Quarter is a one-year type. The coin is very common in circulated grades. The reverse has an image of a drummer boy and many coins in circulation have been pulled because of its different design. Only examples in MS-68 condition or higher appear to be scarce but still thousands of examples exist if enough searching is done. In MS-69 condition it is really scarce with less than a handful of examples known and none existing in higher condition. This true rarity fetched a sum of $5,918.75 with buyer's fee. 1982 D small date sent. Let's talk about a transitional year, 1982, and specifically, that small date sent. In the world of numismatics, transitions matter, and the small date variety is less common, making it a hidden gem for collectors. Keep an eye out for this subtle yet significant difference. According to PCGS, the 1982p small date copper Lincoln scent is one of the most difficult memorial scents to find in high-grade condition. They are scarce even in MS-64 and MS-65 grades. It is one of the most difficult varieties to find in high grade out of all seven different varieties of this date. In MS-66 grade and higher, they are extremely difficult to find. This MS-68 superb gem was sold for $1,405.12 with buyer's fee. 1988 D. Lincoln sent with flared G on reverse. Graded as MS-66 read by PCGS. According to LincolnSentCollection.com in 1988 rare alternate reverses from both the Philadelphia and Denver mints were produced where the A and the M were wide as normal but the FG initials were close to the memorial rather than far as they should be for that year. These are 1988 coins with the transitional year reverse of 1989. This variety has sometimes been unfortunately called the 1988 wide AM even though a wide AM is normal for that year. To clear up this confusion PCGS now names these varieties as having a flared G. This MS-66 red scent was sold for $1,519.88 with buyer's fee. 1936 proof Lincoln scent with brilliant finish. Graded as PR-66 red by NGC. According to Heritage Auctions, the Philadelphia Mint resumed commercial proof set offerings in 1936 and a small production of 5,569 proof Lincoln scents was accomplished. Coins struck early in the year had a satiny finish, but this proved unpopular with collectors, so the mint soon switched to the Type 2 brilliant finish for proofs. This spectacular premium gem exhibits sharply detailed design elements and impeccably preserved original red surfaces, with deeply reflective fields. It was sold for $1,920. 1943 Washington Quarter, toned. Now, onto a wartime treasure, the 1943 Washington Quarter. Already rare due to its silver content during World War II, if you happen to have one with a toned appearance and a grade of MS-68, you've struck numismatic gold. Toned and graded high, it's a winning combination. The design elements are generally well impressed on this one. Lustrous surfaces are impeccably well preserved and yield stunning eye appeal, aptly recognized by CAC. The collector seeking colorfully toned coins highly appreciates such specimens. This MS-68 gem ended up selling for $10,281.25. 1909 SVDB Lincoln Cent. Graded in Mint State 65 read by PCGS and proven by CAC. According to Heritage Auctions, glistening golden and tan orange hues adorn the gem surfaces of this full red 1909 SVDB Cent, complementing well-struck design elements. The coin is largely pristine, with only a single horizontal mark below the M in America serving as a pedigree marker. CAC endorsement adds to the appeal. It was sold for $10,800 on January 10, 2024. 1925 S. Peace Dollar. Graded as MS-65 by PCGS. 
According to Heritage Auctions, the 1925 S is one of the two rarest dates in the Peace Dollar series at the gem grade level, surpassed only by the 1928 S. The dates have often been considered similar in scarcity at the gem grade level, although the 1925 S has a slightly higher certified population and a comparably minutely higher auction appearance rate. Nonetheless, the scarcity of the 1925 S in this grade is undeniable and is significantly greater than most other dates in the series. The current coin displays brilliant, satiny mint luster and an above-average strike. It ended up selling for $22,800. 1967 Lincoln Cent from Special Mint Set. Otherwise known as SMS Cent. Graded as SP65 Red Deep Cameo by PCGS. Cents from the 1965 to 1967 Special Mint Sets can be found with Cameo Contrast, but Deep Cameo examples are very rare. This is a magnificent gem that boasts uniform peach gold color. The fields are reflective and devoid of detractions. A significant opportunity for the advanced Lincoln Cent collector. It ended up selling for $3,360. 1954 S. Roosevelt Dime with no JS. Our journey begins with the 1954's Roosevelt Dime. What makes this coin extraordinary is the absence of the JS- the initials of its designer, John Sinek. The missing initials add a layer of rarity, making this dime a coveted find among collectors. If you have one, hold on tight it's a keeper. This MS-65 specimen with full bands on the torch, ended up selling for $109.12 with buyer's fee, 1930s Lincoln cent. Graded in mint state 67 red by NGC. This is a sharply struck, pristine copper red example of the 1930s Lincoln cent, showing no carbon spotting or bothersome abrasions. I appeal is excellent. This issue is rare in MS-67 red, and no numerically finer red coins are known. It was sold for $2,640. 1916 Proof Lincoln Cent. Graded as PR67 Red and Brown. The 1916 is the last of the matte proofs in the Lincoln Cent series, boasting a limited mintage of only 1,050 pieces. Proof set sales were suspended following this year due to collector dissatisfaction with the matte finish. When proof set production resumed in 1936, a new satin finish was employed, which was almost immediately transitioned into the familiar brilliant finish of years past. This is a conditionally rare superb gem example of the 1916 matte proof. 1878 Silver Morgan Dollar with Polished Ear. Graded as MS-66 by NGC. George T. Morgan's design was introduced on the Silver Dollar in 1878. According to Walter Breen, the Eight Tail Feathers variety was produced from March 12 to March 25, before the switch to the Seven over Eight Tail Feathers dies. The actual mintage for the Eight Tail Feathers variety is unknown but Q. David Bauer's estimates about 750,000 circulation strikes were produced. This spectacular premium gem exhibits sharply detailed design elements and impeccably preserved brilliant surfaces, with vibrant mint luster and outstanding eye appeal. 1909 S. VDB Scent Now, let's talk about the 1909's VDB Scent. Graded in mint state 65 plus red and brown by NGC. This scent, bearing the initials of its designer, Victor David Brenner, is a treasure in itself. A grade of MS-65 Plus and the red and brown designation make it not just a scent but a numismatic masterpiece. Keep this one close, it's a piece of history. Golden luster lies beneath original chestnut brown toning that forms a wood grain pattern over each side. The strike is sharp, and needless to say, I appeal is outstanding. It was sold for $4,320 on December 15, 2023. The 1937 proof scents are similar to the brilliant proofs of 1936. The popularity of the latter finish is reflected in significantly higher sales of proof coins during 1937. This is nevertheless a fairly scarce date when compared to the millions of proofs coined annually since the 1960s. The mint became a little more practiced at polishing the dyes, with the result that a very small percentage of this emission reveals some degree of cameo contrast between brilliant fields and gently frosted devices. These cameo and ultra cameo coins are indeed rare and highly desired. This gem was sold for $1,680. 1930s 